All right, so we are making or we've made a lot of great progress. So there's just a few other things that we're going to do to finalize our application to utilize to the max other data that we have from our API. Namely, we have the humidity, uh, mean and max for our temperature. So let's just do those and then call it good. And of course, as always, just keep in mind that you have a lot of data. And even if you go back to openweathermap.org, the main website, you will see that there's other things that you can get from the API. There's, you'll have access to other endpoints of the API to get other data. So there's a lot of things that you can add to this application. And, and of course, I wouldn't be a teacher if I didn't encourage you to take this application and make it your own and maybe add forecast information because that is also included in one of the api's endpoints and just run with it there's so many things you can do other thing you can do is to find an inspiration just go to google play or apple store and uh, just search for weather apps and see the kind of information that those apps provide and go from there so you have all the tools. I mean, if you are able to get to this point where we are now, it's just a matter of just parsing data, really, because we have it all. Okay? So always think in those terms if you want to succeed as a software developer in general, and particularly as a, a mobile developer. Always. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and finalize this application here so that we can say, yes, we did it. Okay, let's do this. If we look at where we are putting the temperature on screen, which is here, right? We fashion the content and getting everything down. We use the list tile, which is one of my favorites now for reasons that I have discussed before and you can see. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna add here, I'm gonna add if the subtitle and in this subtitle, I'm gonna create another list tile again which will allow me to add a title. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and pass a new text. Now I'm gonna format this text here so that I can have, of course, the humidity, mean and max temperatures. Okay, this is easy stuff. You should be able to do yourself, but for completion, we are gonna to do together. How do we do that? Well, I'm gonna just concatenate a few things here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a, the first one's gonna be humidity. And I'm going to pass an expression here, so say content, right? Because content is the object map object that contains the data that we're getting from our API. And I want to go to main, of course, and then I'm going to probe in into humidity, make sure it is exactly spelled as it is here. Otherwise, we run into issues. And there we go. So I have my humidity. Now, because again, remember, they come as doubles, if you look at humidity or integers in this case, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to just say to string just to get the string value. And I'm going to use the backslash and say n for a new line. So this will go ahead and create a new line, just like hitting enter. And I'm going to say min for minimum going to do the same thing. Let's go ahead and copy all of this. Now, instead of humidity, we need the temp underscore min, right? Uh, temp underscore min. There we go. You guessed it. We're going to do the same thing. And this one is going to be max and he guessed it as temp underscore max and we don't need, need that new line because that's the end really look at this okay now if we go and run we should see look at that <laughs> looking really good Right? It's dark, the colors aren't great, but at least we are getting the information. And the next thing I'm going to do here, notice that we should probably add an F to say that's Fahrenheit, right? So I can even go here and say plus F like this, which I'm going to add as well. 
let's say F like that, maybe a little space, and F like that. Save, we should see now we have, well, we have to actually run it because we're doing a lot of connections and so forth. There we go. So now we have the F showing, humidity, and so forth. Okay, let's do a little bit of coloring, if you will, our user interface. So I'm going to have comma, and let's say style. I'm going to create a new style. And I can do what we did before down here, just create a new text style. Call this extra temp or extra data. Name whatever you want. And because it's all the same, just a few changes. Go like that. I want it to be white. Let's say white 70. Uh, font style. Normal is fine. Font weight. I don't want it to be bold. In fact, I can get rid of it. Uh, for the font size, I want to have it about 17. Okay, this is good. Then I can call this save. Aha, there we go. Okay, it looks really nice. Now, you notice that this is a little bit too up there. How about make it to the bottom a little bit? Let's go, where are we calling this? The other thing too, we can say command and click, it will go to where it's created, which is at the top here. For margin, let's say 295 top, right? So left, this is left, this is top, right, and bottom. Let's see. I guess we need to run once again. There we go. I think that looks a bit better. Okay, that's too much. Let's go back to about 300, 310. How about that? Run. There we go. I like that much better. Okay. Just to finalize, let's run this on iOS as well because we can. And if you can't, I apologize, but you know how it goes. You know how it goes. No problem. So change to iPhone X and run. Because it's the first time, it will take a little while, but also we should see Spokane right because that is our default unless you change it to something else it should always go to default for the first time so we see we have some issues here let's go ahead and fix this properly okay so it looks like this needs to be it's better to go to where we're updating the widget. We're we'll creating our widget container. So let's do this. I'm going to put margin here. These things happen. And there's better ways to do this. But for now, because we don't know a lot, <laughs> uh, I'm going to just give a 30. That's 0. So essentially the same. I'm going to move all to 50. And then we run 0.0. .0 and 0, 0. So because we're passing that in our update widget here, that means we don't quite need this. We can get rid of that. Let's save. Let's see if that did anything. Let's actually run these things, folks. Okay, so it's over there. Now let's see what else can we do. Well, because this returns a container. In fact, I could just 
get rid of this and let's comment all of this out. I'm just going to pass it like that. I think this will be probably helpful because I'm, I'm putting everything inside of a container which was already has a container. We'll get there folks. Okay, so at least that is working there, not necessarily. Okay, let's go ahead then and say, all right, let's make this column center. I'm going to say main, and then I'm going to say center. There we go. Okay, uh, let's make sure this this is much better. So what do we do? Let me run on Android as well. <laughs> so we know that everything is fixed. It should be all good now, hopefully. Okay, so now it looks way better on both Android and iOS. So what did we do here? Uh, I just changed a few things here and there. Uh, the first thing I added actually margin because remember this update widget is returning a future widget which in turn actually returns a container which has column and all that stuff. So I'm just saying the column that is returned which has all of this data, uh, I'm making it so that is actually the main axis alignment is actually in the middle. Okay, the X axis, as you can see, main axis alignment. So it, you notice that it went down here. It's all because since we are inside of a stack, everything is relative to other objects. So that's why this actually is looking good. Okay, that's all we did here. Of course, I made inside the margin I put inside here. So if I want to change things, I can do that. If I want to make sure that I move more to the bottom or up and so forth. So we have it working, folks. We have it all working on both of them. Just to prove to you, let's go here. I'm going to go ahead and say Shimoyo. It's a town in Mozambique. Go down, look at that. And it gives us everything. The minimum is going to be 6854. Max all 6854. Humidity is 96. Ooh, it's humid, folks. Humid. Uh, let's say where else? Beirut. If somebody is watching this from Beirut, hello Beirut. There we go. 61. Humidity 100. Ooh, <laughs> that is insane, folks. All right. Let's do this with our Android here. Let's say Roma. If anybody from Rome, in Roma, Rome is 93 humidity. Ooh, 54 Fahrenheit minimum and 59 max okay and there we go we have a full-fledged application that works flawlessly okay congratulations if you made to this point I know this section was a little bit long because we had a few things that we had to work on but I'm very content and happy that we had to go through that because that makes us better and stronger developers All right so go through it suffer a little bit too that's part of the deal but remember i'm here don't suffer too much because i'm here to spoil you too you know you like my kids <laughs> all right so um congratulations really and make sure that you take this put your own spin to it like i said there's a lot of data that we can get from our api or any other apis you can find online right just just plan play with it because now you have all the tools you have the tools to build literally any application that can go and fetch data and you can uh, make it more dynamic and so forth just like what we did here wonderful very proud of you congratulations and i'll see you in the next section